The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to lesson three of your distance education program in chemistry for upper sea science. I'm Longning Gingu, your chemistry teacher. We are still on the topic matter properties and transformation and the subtopic chemical equilibrium. This subtopic chemical equilibrium will be treated in the following lessons. Concept of reversibility and equilibrium state, equilibrium law part one to part six, equilibrium position part one and two. Before beginning today's lesson, I'd like us to correct the assignment we had at the end of our last lesson. Question one. Sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen in a sealed vessel to form sulfur trioxide. The equation of the reaction is one mole of sulfur dioxide gas reacting with half moles of oxygen gas are in equilibrium with one mole of sulfur trioxide gas. A. Write an expression for the equilibrium constant Kc and B. Determine the unit of Kc. Solution. Write an expression for the equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction where one mole of sulfur dioxide gas reacting with half moles of oxygen gas are in equilibrium with one mole of sulfur trioxide gas. Write the equilibrium expression. Based on the equilibrium law, equilibrium constant Kc is equal to molar concentration of sulfur trioxide at equilibrium divided by molar concentration of sulfur dioxide at equilibrium times molar concentration of oxygen at equilibrium raised to the power half. B, determine the units of Kc. Substituting molar concentrations in the equilibrium equation with their units, we have unit of Kc is equal to moles per cubic decimeter divided by moles per cubic decimeter times moles per cubic decimeter raised to the power two. Simplifying, we have units of Kc is equal to one divided by moles per cubic decimeter raised to the power half. Simplifying further, we have units of Kc is equal to moles per cubic decimeter all raised to the power negative half. Applying laws of indices, we have units of Kc is equal to mole raised to the power negative half dm to the power three divided by two. Question two. In an experiment, hydrogen and bromine were mixed in a closed vessel at 723 Kelvin and allowed to reach equilibrium. If at equilibrium, the mixture contained 0.258 moles of hydrogen bromide, 0.077 moles of hydrogen gas, and 0.015 moles of bromine, A, write the equilibrium equation of the reaction. B, Calculate the value of the equilibrium constant. C. Determine the unit of the equilibrium constant. 2A. Write the equilibrium equation of the reaction. Based on the equilibrium law, equilibrium constant Kc is equal to molar concentration of hydrogen bromide at equilibrium raised to the power 2 divided by molar concentration of hydrogen gas at equilibrium times molar concentration of bromine 
at equilibrium. B. Calculate the value of the equilibrium constant. The molar concentration of each species at equilibrium can be gotten by dividing the number of moles of that species at equilibrium by volume. In this question, the volume will cancel out because the number of moles of product molecules is the same as the number of moles of reactant molecules. So substituting the number of moles, therefore, in the equilibrium expression we have, Kc is equal to 0 0.258 raised to the power 2 divided by 0 0.077 times 0 0.015. Simplifying, we have Kc is equal to 57.63. C, determine the unit of the equilibrium constant. Substituting the unit of molar concentration in the equilibrium expression, we have unit of Kc is equal to moles per cubic decimeter raised to the power 2 divided by moles per cubic decimeter times moles per cubic decimeter. Expanding, we have unit of Kc is equal to moles per cubic decimeter times moles per cubic decimeter all divided by moles per cubic decimeter times moles per cubic decimeter. The units cancel out, and Kc is equal to 57.63. Today's lesson is titled The Equilibrium Law Part 2. The outline of this lesson is as follows Objectives, Prerequisite, Equilibrium Law Part 2, Evaluation, Assignment, and References. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to List the five steps involved in the determination of the equilibrium constant of a reaction. Write expressions for equilibrium constant and determine the unit of equilibrium constant. Calculate equilibrium constant. Prerequisite. To test your knowledge that will be useful in this lesson, state the equilibrium law. State the equilibrium law. The equilibrium law states that for a system in equilibrium, the product of the concentrations of products raised to the powers of their stoichiometric coefficient divided by the product of the concentrations of the reactant raised to the powers of their stoichiometric coefficient is a constant at constant temperature. Determination of equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constants of chemical reactions are determined following the steps below. These are, write a balanced equation for the reaction, mix known amount of reactants or product and allow the mixture to reach equilibrium. Determine the equilibrium concentrations of at least one substance in the equilibrium mixture. Deduce the equilibrium concentrations of the other constituents in the mixture. Substitute the equilibrium concentrations in the expression for Kc and calculate Kc. It is important to note that equilibrium concentrations can be determined by titration, colorimetry, and many other methods. Determination of equilibrium constant Kc of the reaction between hydrogen and iodine. Hydrogen and iodine always react in a closed system to establish an equilibrium with hydrogen iodide gas. To determine the equilibrium constant of this reaction, known masses of iodine and hydrogen or hydrogen iodide are placed in a sealed tube and heated at 450 degrees Celsius until equilibrium is attained. The equilibrium mixture is frozen by rapid cooling at equilibrium. The amount of iodine at equilibrium is determined by titrating the equilibrium mixture with a standard solution of sodium thiosulfate using starch as indicator. If the initial amount of hydrogen is A mo, the initial amount of iodine B mo, and assuming that the amount of each species that reacted at equilibrium is X moles. Therefore, the amount of each of the species remaining at equilibrium can be determined using the technique below. 
Initially, we had A moles of hydrogen gas, B moles of IOD, and zero, there was no hydrogen iodide present. If X moles of hydrogen reacted at equilibrium, therefore, X moles of iodine also reacted to form 2X moles of hydrogen iodide. Notice that the ratio, the, the, the ratio of the amount that reacted at equilibrium is exactly the same as the stoichiometric coefficient in the reaction. We have 1 to 1 to 2. The amount remaining at equilibrium, therefore, for hydrogen will be A minus X moles. For IOD, B minus X moles. Now, this is because the reactants are used up in the course of the reaction, and so the amount reduced. That is why we need to subtract the amount that reacted from the initial amount to have the amount that, that are remaining at equilibrium. The amount of product hydrogen iodide remaining at equilibrium will be 0 plus 2x. The products are formed at equilibrium, so the amount increased. Assuming that the volume of the equilibrium system is V, the molar concentration of the species at equilibrium can be gotten by dividing, by, dividing their number of moles at equilibrium by the volume. Therefore, Number of moles of uh, molar concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium will be x minus a minus x divided by v, which is the volume. Molar concentration of iodine at equilibrium will be b minus x divided by v, and molar concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium will be two x divided by v. Substituting in the equilibrium expression, where Kc is equal to molar concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium raised to the power two divided by molar concentration of hydrogen gas at equilibrium times molar concentration of IOD at equilibrium and simplifying, we will have the value of the equilibrium constant, Kc, for the reaction. Example one. In an experiment, 0 0.206 moles of hydrogen and 0 0.144 moles of IOD were heated at 723 Kelvin in a closed vessel and 0 0.258 moles of hydrogen iodide were formed. Calculate the equilibrium constant. Solution. Since the equilibrium amount of all the species have not been given, we are going to use this technique to determine the equilibrium amount. Initially, we had 0 0.206 moles of hydrogen, 0 0.144 moles of IOD, and no hydrogen iodide. Assuming that at equilibrium, x moles of hydrogen reacted with x moles of IOD, then two x moles of hydrogen iodide were formed. The amount of hydrogen remaining at equilibrium will therefore be 0 0.206 minus x. The amount of IOD will be 0 0.144 minus x, and hydrogen iodide will be 0 0.0 plus 2x. The amount, the equilibrium amount of hydrogen iodide given in the question is 0 0.258 moles. And that gotten from our technique, the number of moles at equilibrium of hydrogen iodide gotten from our technique is 0 uh, plus 2x. Equating 0 plus 2x to 0 0.258 moles, we have 2x is equal to 0 0.258. Simplifying, we have x is equal to 0 0.129 moles. Number of moles of hydrogen at equilibrium gotten from our table is 0 0.206 minus x. Substituting x with its value, we have 0 0.206 minus 0 0.129. And simplifying, we have equilibrium number of moles of hydrogen is 0 0.077 moles. Number of moles of iodine at equilibrium is 0 0.144 minus x. Substituting x with its value, we have 0 0.144 minus 0 0.129. Simplifying, we have number of moles of iodine at equilibrium is 0 0.015 moles. Assuming that volume is V, the molar concentration of the species can be gotten by dividing the number of moles at equilibrium by the volume. Therefore, molar concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium will be 0 0.77 divided by V, Molar concentration of iodine will be 0 0.015 divided by V, and molar concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium 
will be 0 0.258 divided by V. Based on the equilibrium law, equilibrium constant Kc is molar concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium raised to the power 2 divided by molar concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium times molar concentration of iodine at equilibrium. Now, substituting molar concentration, concentrations in the equilibrium equation with their values, we have Kc is equal to 0 0.0258 raised to the power 2 divided by 0 0.077 times 0 0.015. Notice that the volume V cancels out. So it's number of moles of gaseous product, the same as the number of moles of gaseous reactant. Simplifying, we have Kc is equal to 57.6. Kc also has no unit. So the true value of Kc is 57.6. Example 2. Two moles of hydrogen and one mole of iodine were mixed together in a closed vessel at a temperature of 273 Kelvin and allowed to reach equilibrium. Calculate the equilibrium composition of the system, given that Kc is equal to 50. Solution. It's important to understand that equilibrium composition means number of moles of all the species in the system at equilibrium. I repeat, equilibrium composition means number of moles of all the species in the system at equilibrium. Since the equilibrium amount of all the species have not been given in the question, we are going to use this technique to determine the equilibrium amount of all the species. Initially, we had 2.0 moles of hydrogen, 1 mole of iodine, and no hydrogen iodide. Assuming that X moles of hydrogen reacted at equilibrium, therefore, X moles of iodine also reacted to produce 2 X moles of hydrogen iodide. Notice again that the ratio of the number of, of the amounts that reacted at equilibrium is the same as the stoichiometric coefficient in the equation. The amount of hydrogen, therefore, remaining at equilibrium will be 2.0 minus x. Amount of iodine will be 1.0 minus x. And amount of hydrogen iodide formed at equilibrium will be 0.0, .0 plus 2x. The molar concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium will be 2x minus 0 divided by V, which is a volume. Molar concentration of iodine will be 1 minus x divided by V. And molar concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium will be 2x divided by V. The volume in this question will still cancel out because number of moles of gaseous reactant is the same as number of moles of the gaseous product. Based on equilibrium law, Kc is equal to molar concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium raised to the power 2 divided by molar concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium times molar concentration of iodine at equilibrium. Substituting molar concentrations in the equilibrium equation with their values, we have 50 is equal to 2x raised to the power 2 divided by 2 minus x times 1 minus x. Simplifying, we have 50 is equal to 4x raised to the power 2 divided by 2 minus 3x plus x raised to the power 2. Rearranging, we have the quadratic equation 23x raised to the power 2 minus 75x plus 50 is equal to 0. Solving this equation by the quadratic formula method where x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b raised to the power 2 minus 4ac divided by 2a. So substituting a, b, and c with their values, we have x is equal to 75 plus or minus the square root of minus negative 75 raised to the power 2 minus 4 times 23 times 50, all divided by 2 times 23. Simplifying, we have x is equal to 0 0.9 3.5 or x is equal to 2.326. The value x is equal to 2.326 is chemically impossible. 
because the amount of a species that reacted at equilibrium can never be greater than the initial amount of that species. X must be less than 1. And so the true value of X is 0 0.935 moles. The number of moles of hydrogen at equilibrium is 2.0 minus X. If we substitute X with its value, we have number of moles of nitrogen of hydrogen at equilibrium is 2.0 minus 0 0.935. And simplifying, we have 1.065 moles. Number of moles of iodine at equilibrium is 1.0 minus X. Substituting X with its value and simplifying, we have number of moles of iodine at equilibrium is 1.0 minus 0 0.935, which gives us 0 0.065 moles. Number of moles of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium is 2x. Substituting x with its value, we have 2 times 0 0.935. And simplifying, we have number of moles of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium is 1.87 moles. It is important to remember that equilibrium reactions have a quotient referred to as the equilibrium constant, which indicates the extent of conversion of reactants to product. Equilibrium constant can be determined experimentally. Equilibrium constant can be calculated from equilibrium equation if we know the concentrations of the various species involved and may also have unit. Evaluation. To know how well you have followed this lesson, answer this question. One mole of a chemical D and 0.75 moles of another chemical E were placed in a 1 dm cube vessel and allowed to reach equilibrium at a certain temperature, as shown by the equation, where two moles of species D reacting with one mole of species E are in equilibrium with one mole of species F. Given that the amount of D and E at equilibrium were found to be 0 0.70 moles and 0 0.60 moles respectively, calculate the equilibrium constant Kc. Since the equilibrium number of moles of all the species have not been given, we use this technique to determine the equilibrium amount of all the species. Initially, we had one mole, one mole of species D, 0 0.75 moles of species E, and no moles of species F. Assuming that 2x moles of species D reacted at equilibrium, therefore x moles of species E also reacted to form x moles of species F. Remember that the ratios of this amount is the same as the ratio of the stoichiometric coefficients in the equation. The amount of species D remaining at equilibrium, therefore, will be 1.0 minus 2x. The amount of species E will be 0 0.75 minus x. And the amount of species F will be 0 0.0 plus X. Now, the equilibrium amount of species D given in the question is 0 0.70 moles. So, equating this to that obtained from our technique, we have 1.0 minus 2X is equal to 0 0.70. Simplifying, we have 2X is equal to 1.0 minus 0 0.70. And x is equal to 0 0.15 moles. Number of moles of species F at equilibrium is x. Substituting x with its value, we have number of moles of species F at equilibrium is 0 0.15 moles. Now, assuming that the volume, or given that the volume is 1 cubic decimeter, molar concentration of the species at equilibrium can be gotten by dividing the number of moles of the species at equilibrium by the volume. Therefore, the molar concentration of species F at equilibrium is 0 0.15 mole divided by 1 cubic decimeter. Simplifying, we have molar concentration of species F at equilibrium is 0 0.15 moles per cubic decimeter. Molar concentration of species E at equilibrium is 0 0.60 moles divided by 1 cubic decimeter. Simplifying, we have molar concentration of species E at equilibrium is 0 0.60 moles per cubic decimeters. 
Molar concentration of species D at equilibrium is 0 0.70 moles divided by 1 cubic decimeter. Simplifying, we have molar concentration of species D at equilibrium is 0 0.70 moles per cubic decimeter. Based on the equilibrium law, equilibrium constant Kc is molar concentration of species F at equilibrium divided by molar concentration of species D at equilibrium raised to the power 2 times molar concentration of species E at equilibrium. Substituting molar concentrations in the equilibrium equation with their values, we have Kc is equal to 0 0.15 all divided by 0 0.70 raised to the power 2 times 0 0.60. Simplifying, we have Kc is equal to 0 0.51. Now, substituting molar concentration in the equilibrium expression with their unit, we have unit of Kc is equal to moles per cubic decimeter all divided by moles per cubic decimeter raised to the power 2 times moles per cubic decimeter. Simplifying, we have units of Kc is equal to mole raised to the power negative 2 dm to the power 6. Kc, therefore, is equal to 0 0.51 mole raised to the power negative 2 dm to the power 6. Assignment. Before our next lesson, I would like you to answer these questions. Question 1. List all the steps involved in the determination of the equilibrium constant of a reaction. Question 2. Calculate the amount of ethyl ethanoate formed when one mole of ethanoic acid, three moles of ethanol, and three moles of water are allowed to reach equilibrium, given that the equilibrium constant Kc is equal to 40. References. Complete Advanced Level Chemistry by Ngule Emmanuel Eno. Chemistry in Context by Graham Hill and John Holman. Understanding Chemistry by G.K. Kitt and others. And lastly, the Internet. We have come to the end of this lesson. Our next lesson will be on the Equilibrium Law Part 3. See you in the next lesson. Una tege si, ma tege yop. Una tege minga, ma tege nyum. Una tege majang, ma tege ndom. Mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen. Ngani bana, ma tege mot. Ngani la kiri wa tege ndong. Esa kina bia dinkido. Mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen. Tam tama mote tam zabike Tam tama tonge tam zabike Tam tam tama mote tam zabike Mane tambia ninyane injubia yen